We're going to open the March 4th meeting of the Selectmen. Open session public meetings are subject to being videotaped. Your image and voice may be recorded. Um, we thought that we would reschedule the Highway Facility Superintendent's monthly report since he probably was out all night plowing. Mm -hmm. So um, we have another appointment at 720. Um, we have no meeting minutes. Um, we have appointments as recommended by personnel um, for an alternate building inspector while Joe is out, a second alternate building inspector, and a conditional local building inspector. Um, I'm not comfortable with this at all. When we were in executive session a couple weeks ago, we agreed to work with our building inspector. And frankly, I've seen anything but. Um, Richard Hanks does not have the commercial experience to deal with a lot of our commercial stuff in town. So to make him the first alternate does not make sense. He, he does has, not know how to use our software. He has school building, um, a lot of school building um, experience. I have two building inspectors that will tell you that he is not qualified to do the inspections for our commercial in town. Okay. Claire, do you want to speak to this? Yeah, I, we weren't aware of that and I, I understood he's a building commissioner and he, he does not have a commercial license, if you will, but he has done the commercial he, he does buildings have, he's a building in, commissioner. in the town of Berlin from 2016 through 2017 when our last building inspector was out. Yep, and we had a lot less commercial going on at that point. I would be much more comfortable with either Tony Z filling in like we had talked about for two to three Tony weeks. Tony is filling in, but um, my understanding from my conversation with the building inspector was he was only going to do it for two to three weeks. Exactly, and then we had talked about Joe coming in and, or Joe working from home, which he can do. Um, no, he can't. Not well, with Family <laughs> Medical Leave Act. Yep, and he was forced out on Family and Medical Leave Act without the sanction of this board this week. He that is the I process. It was Chris he, no, that was yeah. too Well, Chris took it upon herself to send him a letter this week forcing him out on FMLA. After getting town council's advice. But you don't get to town get council advice. Letter. Town council advice. Yes, not, I do get town but, council but advice. But you, you do not get to make the decision by yourself, Chris. Once again, every time we come to this, this employee, was administrative, he Lisa. Anything. And I'm really sorry that you're unhappy about it. But this is, this is the f way that you treat your employees fairly. Oh, every employee, I don't, I don't think every employee would have been treated this the same not way. The, this is not the plan that we discussed. This is not the plan that we discussed. There was no plan and discussed. We in, made in no decisions. In session, we had a, a series of steps that we were going Everything through. And I looked at the executive voted, session minutes. There is not, nothing. We did not vote on, Regardless, on your actions. Regardless, we have got three appointments to make if this board wishes to do so. I'll make the motion. Uh, Richard Hanks as the first alternate building inspector. Uh, David Horn is the second alternate building inspector and Thomas Doerr, 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 conditional local building inspector as per the personnel. Second. Anything else to be said by the board? I think I think Katie is here to speak for Joe, and I think she has permission to do that. So I would request that you. I allow would her give to her speak. permission, Lisa. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No. He this is a this is a a this is a <laughs> meeting of the selectmen. It's not a public meeting. It's a meeting of the selectmen in public. And the building inspector has no input on what you've done here. I'm sorry if he feels that way. The I building inspector care. isn't here to speak for himself. The building inspector sent yeah, his wife writing. with things in writing. You can submit those to the board can if I you'd speak? like. Can I? No, I'm afraid not. So there is so a decision no, before the board no, right so now. I'm just going to ask you a question real quick. So is it ethically speaking, you feel good 
that you sent him a certified letter. He's having a large tumor taken out tomorrow. You sent him a certified letter today discussing the fact that the original plan from the 11th, that he could do some work from home that would supplement the short-term disability, he would do the clerical stuff from home, and I have a list from what's off of his, his job description. This is not even factual. Do. You are not even, you, this is not factual. Take there factual were no off. votes taken, I checked the minutes before. Then how do you get to decide everything? I didn't get to decide anything. This was advice of town council. Mm -hmm. This is according to our personnel bylaws, our personnel policies, and, and the kind. advice of council. Yes. Do you think it's kind to send a certified yeah. letter to a man who's having a tumor removed in the morning? I did not send him a letter. It says from, no, no, no. It says from the town of Berlin, cost you seven dollars. We sent him cents. an email a couple of days ago about no, it. No, you sent him an email on Saturday, which was classy, and Monday, we Friday. today, we received this. We wanted him to know as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. So we've got a motion on the table and a second. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion from the board? I think you also want to look at the fact that um, he will be temporarily disabled and we have an ADA issue here. So just something to think about. I already have thought about mm -hmm. that. His primary care physician Mary sent is him also out. not part of the board. I she just, raised her just hand. Looked at me. So his primary care physician took him out of work retroactive to February nineteenth. This was not done in a vacuum. Not for an it not for the same issue. This is not the same issue. That's these that's up to the doctor to decide, not us. And the doctor did decide that these were two separate issues. He had a sprained knee, and he has a tumor. Well, then that that information should be relayed to the people that are involved in making those decisions, not us. That's a sprain. Doesn't say tumor. That's okay. Start date February nineteenth. We've got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> No. Nay. Motion passes two to one. Um, the next thing on our agenda is the annual town meeting warrant update. Um, I think there were some outstanding. Um, In blue are the things that have changed since the warrant last went to town council last okay. week. The only thing I've heard from town council is they confirmed that they received this draft but no updates on any of the things that have been flagged in it. Thanks. <clears throat> so the changes are that the new, we have documents now explaining what the Anna Hunt Trust is, and I'll send that to town council. You have <coughs> alternative library capital fund article wording approaches. Right. You have the details now for the two other fire prior year unpaid bills. Yep. We still need the summary on week chief that Peg was going to draft. Apologies. That's okay. And uh, no summary for sub article section B of article 38. Okay. Um. Should we talk about the library article articles first? Mm -hmm. um, I think we just want to, like I said to you in an email, we want to do what the trustees would like to do. We just want to make sure that the engineering is covered. I, I understand that. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, our, our position is the library is going to close unless we have a septic system, you know, and I, that's why I said the last, and I understand what June had said, and I understand the concern. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, we have the time limitation, and you're well aware of that because you all signed the agreement with the DP. So our position is this needs to be done. Whatever the amount is will be what the amount is. Mm -hmm. um, we can raise it. But I don't think we can do set two articles, and I don't think that we can. We're not asking for a feasibility study. We're just asking for the septic to be replaced. Well, it's if, if it was a feasibility study, it would just be the feasibility to see whether which septic is all it meant. But that's not reading that. That that's okay. not what that verbiage said. All right. So you know, I'm I'm going to leave it up to you, but. Our opinion is that 
yes, this needs to be done. I'm, I'm sorry that we didn't get an accurate quote, and you know, we relied on Dave, and I understand that this is, this is a new position for him. And I, you know, as I was driving here, I was thinking, well, can we just put some language in now in terms of the amount, and can Dave, can he get us an estimate of what this is going to be before we have the town meeting, and then we can just change the warrant? Mm. I mean, I, I, I don't know, with, you know, without having an accurate figure, of course we can't say it's going to be $100,000 or the $75,000 figure did come from Dave originally. Right. And that was why we added the extra twenty-five, saying, well, if there's, you know, I, I, I honestly that, think that sounds like the nu that number would cover it, but I'm I no believe, expert either. I believe it would too. And yeah. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a septic expert. I know Bob Hodge went online and was looking at costs, and he said, <coughs> well under that amount. So it's it's up to you what you you know ultimately what you want to submit in the article, but our you know our position is it has to be clear that yes this is going to be done, and it needs to be done by a certain date. Um, right, and I don't I don't think that it's a good <coughs> idea to put off the septic part of it until next <coughs> May. That doesn't give us much time. No, it doesn't because we have so. to send out an RFP for that. Right. So I think we need, you know, whether this is going to be the amount that it ultimately comes out to, don't know. You know, certainly we can give the town back any money. Right. So That's, I'm just curious, has the library thought about alternate plans such as, as potentially a new library? Because based on what I've heard, I'm not totally convinced that we can fix this problem. Oh yes, we can. That was why we finally, you know, we've had a number of meetings with the DEP, and you know, Chris is aware of this now because she was at our last meeting. And that was why Tom Angel insisted that we, the language about a tight tank be put into the agreement. Because if there's no other solution to this, that is the one thing that we will be able to do. And the tight tank is not that expensive. It's really the pumping of the tank that would be the cost. At this point, the library is 2% of the town's budget. And I think it's an important service. We have, you know, in, in terms of the, amount, the percentage of people who use this library, it's much higher than many other towns. But we also have to have some place to put the tight tank. And there, I, I think we can put it where the. Um, you know, there's, and we were saying to Chris and Dave, where we have whatever the metal box is now would be where it could be placed. So, I mean, the DEP I just, felt yeah. comfortable agreeing to that. And they've been out to the property, they've walked around, okay. you know, inside and outside. I guess I would still feel more comfortable if if in some way we polled the town about whether they, they want to keep putting money into this building. Oh. We did whether. do that. We had a, an article two years ago, and we did our renovation article. You, you don't recall? I, that? I, I do remember that. I, I do remember that article, but I'm not sure that alternatives were offered. I'm not sure if people were aware of the the depth of the issues with the building and the the septic and all of these other things. Well, um, I don't know what other things you're referring to at this point. We're working on our long-range plan. We've invited you all to come. Um, it will okay. talk about what we're going to do in the next five years. Clearly, you can't close the library next month, um, and we can't close it without having another building. Uh, we can't propose anything in good faith to the town unless we first do our long-range plan, which, as I said, we're working on this year. When I moved to this town how many years ago, people we had a million dollar matching grant to build a new library. Mm -hmm. People didn't like that. You know, that was voted yeah. down. But I think it was a really close vote at that time, and I think your demographics have changed. It was a close vote. However, I have to say to you, most people in this town who come to the library say, I love this library. Okay. Part of our plan before we can do anything in terms of building would be to investigate having another site. That's not, you know, we haven't ruled that out. But right now, 
we need to look at this building. This is a municipal building. The only thing we're voting on right now is the septic. I mean, that's, that's what the Warren article will be. Oh, I understand. You know, people can, people can say, you know, at town meeting, no, I don't you want think, to put um, $100,000 into the septic, but, I mean, I otherwise you're going to close the library. I mean, do you think regardless of the needing the septic that even if it wasn't the library forever and ever, that it could be used for another another purpose? Well, I, I know yeah. it needs to be a library uh, well, to some extent. To some, you know, there's a deed restriction. Right. However... I think you can get by that, that in modern be, times. That's, the town of Littleton had a yeah. similar deed restriction and mm -hmm. they were able to build a new library. There's nothing that we're going to be able to do in the next year and a half. We're not going to be able to find a new location. We're not going to be able to do plans, you know, for a new library. We are going to have our long-range plan. And the other problem is that we need to apply for a grant from the Mass Board of Library Commissioners. The next cycle is going to be 2020. Pardon me? I said then you'll have missed it by the t uh, for the 2020 because you need to have everything in place. <coughs> uh, well, it's not even that we need to have everything in place. We don't even know if we'll get a grant because we don't know there's going to be any bond money. So really, <coughs> as library trustees, we want to see the library operating, and we need to have the septic repaired to do that. Well, I don't think there's any question that, yeah. you know, you've submitted your article. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we're just trying to figure out the language. I just, yeah, and I, I just wanted to get out there that I, I think maybe in the future we need to we need to look at alternatives. We would love to have a new building. <laughs> I mean, you know, what can I say? I mean, there are there are sure. deficits with the um, current building, and I, I'm still like I said, I I'm have concerns about what the engineering is going to come back as. But be a part of the long range planning committee. Come come to our meetings. Everybody's yeah. You know, anyone got a, here got a few come? things on my plate. Well, well, but if this is a concern yeah. for you, you know, you're invited. She'll find some volunteers for for that purpose, I bet. Um, but yes, I understand the verbiage is, is, is a problem. Well, um, I, not really. I, I think that we just want to make sure that the engineering is covered. Right, absolutely. And that's it. Um, I mean... June, are you comfortable with these because I know that you had some questions. Um, my only concern was that the way that it was originally worded was that it would only cover, for me, it would only cover the engineering and design with the installation. So my concern is that if for whatever reason, because that's who I am and that's what I do, mm -hmm. um, is if it should not be able to go through with the installation with that hundred thousand, I wanted to just make sure that it's worded properly so that I can pay for the engineering costs even though we're not installing at the time. So that was my only concern. That's why I wanted to right. to tweak it a little bit just to say we're going to cover the design, the engineering costs, um, whether or not it's installed. Mm -hmm. Just so that way there it doesn't come back and go, yeah, no, it's going to cost us hundred thousand. Not that it's coming. I'm just saying if it comes to a lot and we can't cover it with that article, I don't want to be stuck or you to be stuck without being able to pay that bill. So that was my only concern. <clears throat> so I'm, are you I'm, comfortable if we just make sure that well, unfortunately, the way that June's article didn't, that's not what that article said to me. You know, Are you comfortable with taking out the word feasibility? I thought maybe that was the sticking point. This is what's okay. Let me. This is what's in the draft, right? And these are the alternatives one and two to be added to. Okay. It. So feasibility. Well, that's one of the alternatives. You, you could take, take that, that word, word out. out. If, if that, that just take that word out. Just get rid of the word. It's just <laughs> it's for your first one. Well, we can study. Alternative it's one. It's really not a study. It's it's the engineering. Um, and right design. now we don't have, we don't know for sure what the engineering costs are going to be. Right. No, I understand and that. And the design and the installation. So I'm just concerned that if it comes to over a hundred thousand, we're not going to be able to install it and do everything else. No, they would have to go back for additional money. Well, you know, it's, 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 I, I certainly understand. You're, you're an accounting person. I know. I, 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 know I, I get the figures. I'm not, 
I, I don't knock them. Mm -hmm. But the so way you are comfortable with the first one? I'm, I'm very June. comfortable with the first one because that are basically you? says a feasibility study, which is really not what we want. If we want to pay for each of the See if I've been playing hard time. I just want to make sure that each can be paid for separately if we don't do the project as a whole. That's my only concern. Right. But I'm comfortable with the second one. You know, we'll raise vote for the purpose of selecting, designing, engineering, and installing. Um, do we want to say selecting, designing, engineering, and or installing? Mm -hmm. I mean, we can do and or. Does that work? Does that work? Yeah, it does. Does, it, does that work for you, Jim? Yeah, just as long as we can pay for it. That's my only concern. Okay. I don't want to be stuck and then say to you, you can't install a septic system, so I can't pay for anything. Right. I also would like to raise the, <coughs> raise the amount to 150000 I don't think that anyone is going to balk at that. With a sunset clause? Well, I'm just, even yeah. if it was ten, five years or something. If they wanted to put it in for all of them, you can't just do it. You can. Yeah. Okay. It has to be used mm -hmm. by 2020 because you have to have the system done. We have to have the system done in a year and a half, so. And or as, or as many waivers as you comfortable with right. that? Right. Maybe the they'll give us a waiver. No. They'll probably give us a good faith waiver because we'll voted. be working I on it. I think when we yeah. start raising these numbers, I think capital planning has an issue. I think we're going we're gonna to go into borrowing and that sort of thing just so that everybody's aware. I think they have well, limited sort of this thing. is this was, was was this particular item in the capital plan? It, it yes, we, we met with At them 100. last week. They, they didn't have right. a problem with the 100000 Right, I just don't know whether they, whether have, they have the ability to, to take on the 150. Is there a way? I mean, I can't speak for Dave. I, as I said, if we can find out, you know, just kind of get a ballpark. When he said the 75 to Bob, I think he had, um, oh, I can't even recall who it was in town who does septic, who was out there. And that's when he came in and said to Bob in the library, well, oh, oh $75,000 will definitely cover it. Mm -hmm. That's where that number came from. Okay. You know, we didn't just kind of pick it up out of the air. Right. So June, or, you know, if you're not comfortable raising, I, I guess those would be the alternatives. I, it, it, like Lisa said, it's most likely that capital planning will have to take a look okay. and see whether it would fit this year mm -hmm. with an additional 50000 I mean, I know things are tight right. for the capital plan. So if not, is 100000 going to work for the moment? I mean, there's, the, there's, you know, next year's town meeting or a special town meeting. Well, that's or, what I was thinking. That was my other know, thing, was a special, you know, know, special town meeting. We do want to make sure that it's done before the deadline. Right. And or good you you know what I mean? And then you'd be able to get going. Oh, well. Yeah. I don't see this, you know, I see this as a small project. This is not, you know, we're not talking about a huge development. And, and right, I don't want to take up any more time. So, I mean, I would say we could do, you know, the purpose of selecting, designing, engineering, and or. Okay. You know, if people are comfortable with that, or we could raise it to 150, we could do that and raise it to 150. If you want to speak to capital planning and see what they say. Do we want to speak to capital planning, or do you think <laughs> <laughs> the library trustee? I prefer trustee. the library trustee, because they're going to ask you where you're coming up with that mm -hmm. figure, and we can't say it except to say well, it was posed don't. to us for 150. But we need, you know, that's why we need Dave because he's the person who's going to do this and he's got to be the person to come up you know to get Dave is probably in bed right now sleeping and, and, <laughs> and we'll let him do that but you know unfortunately he probably was too quick to make a commitment to do this mm -hmm. um, well you know maybe you should mention it to capital planning that you know this is something you're thinking about see what their reaction is and then try to get a firm number I mean that's so are we going with option two? Well, Mary's putting this. Are oh, you? Oh no, I got it. It's and or. It's and or. Yeah, and, and or. the only thing. Right. So I think and we or. can probably. So we can, you know. I think we can submit it that way at this point. Right. And um, yeah. Okay. Does that sound like a plan? It sounds like a plan to me. Okay, that's good. Thank you all very much for your time.
You're welcome. And I'm going to go home and go to bed myself. I hope you're not here too much longer. All right. So, would you like to come up? Sorry, no. Thanks for having me. So, a couple things. Um, the EDC concluded that it made sense about six months ago to generate its own website and its own social media plans. And as time evolved and we started to draft something, um, Civic Plus got in the picture and the website changed at the town level. We said we better halt and get the review of Tom Galvin, the planning board, and of course you as a third stop. So um, you may have seen the email this afternoon. Did you see yes, the email? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. um, so Visit Berlin MA is a tourism commerce site that we have in mind to, which we started to draft for free with the uh, Assabet Kids, Assabet um, Valley Kids. And as I said, we stopped because of what I said a moment ago. We want to get your temperature on an independent website. So we, we, I spoke to Tom. Um, he thought in light of what we do and how we're doing it, it made a certain amount of sense to have an independent site. I'm going to come back to Tom. I brought it to the planning board last week, that and the Facebook page that you saw, mm -hmm. and they um, were in favor of it as well. Let me come back to Tom. So one of the questions is, where is it going to be hosted? We are intending, or were intending, to host it independently at GoDaddy. So in light of the Civic Plus option, um, I asked Tom if there's some freeform space, if you will, on Civic Plus where we could host it there. And, not have it cost anything additional. He's going to look into that. But if not, we'll host it independently, assuming you support the idea of an independent website. If you looked at the Facebook page, it's not going to be a banter page. It's going to be a commercial comments page. And if you looked at it, you saw that we've posted along the way. We, me, post along the way uh, interested art articles of interest to the community. So in the end, um, the question becomes, are you in favor of us creating an independent presence um, before we continue and embark on this journey? Uh, is, go ahead. I was just going to ask if it's an, is there going to be an annual fee, I assume? Yeah, so the domain hosting? is like $10 or so. It's a dot .com domain. And the hosting cost, I think, is in the 100 something range. So we funded that with our budget, which we'll come to in a minute, so far. Um, and hopefully, we can not use that and host on Civic Plus. But we don't know if there's free form space, because the way it's created, it's really a form. It's intended to be a template, the way we see it. And it may not be permitted. Maybe for a small additional fee, we can use their site and not use GoDaddy. And again, Tom's looking into that, so we're going to try to not host independently because it's just an added cost that right. is, while trivial, unnecessary. I have to say that, in general, I am uncomfortable with committees hosting their own websites, um, particularly from a longevity standpoint. You're very enthused about this right now, and you're here doing this right now. The next person may not be. Um, I also don't think we're a tourist bureau or a chamber of commerce. Um, the site that you you referred us to was basically a tourist board site, and that's not the role of the EDC or the role of the town. So um, I'm not really in favor of the EDC spawning another website that has to be maintained and paid for. Um, I would prefer that you fit something into the um, current structure of the website and use your Facebook page, which is free. Um, but I would also recommend that you give Tom Galvin as our IT um, the passwords to that. Um, the IT committee has been working on a policy in regards to that. Um, and we want to make sure that if spamming happens or something happens that, or whoever has, like you leave and you're the one with the password to the Facebook page, somebody within town government has access to those pages yeah. that Passwords and committees are. So it's not a chamber of commerce, it's commerce and tourism. 
we want to draw people to the community to share what we offer. That's part of our part of our mission, right? We want to support the malls. We also want to support other businesses and, and our trails and other resources that we offer. So it's not chamber of commerce concept. It's more commerce concept, and tourism is pretty obvious. Unless the board or the community do, is not in favor of drawing um, outsiders to the community, then this would defeat I, that purpose. I don't think it's an either or. I just I'm I'm not in favor of doing it this way. Um, you just prefer that he do the do it within the Berlin town of Berlin website. Exactly because that will be maintained by the town. Um, okay. By spawning another website, you have you have another website out there that you know, in three years will be obsolete and Peter may not be on the EDC or the EDC may change directions. Um, so you have something out there that, that nobody's then maintaining. Um, and you're also, you know, it's a, it's a cost, yearly cost for something that really I, I don't think is the role of the EDC. You think you can accomplish what you want to accomplish within the Town of Berlin website? So my vision was to have two. The conventional one that we all have, all departments and committees will have. We'll continue that in the same look and then a separate one, um, much like the example that you had seen, um, which is much more public friendly, let's call it, a little less government looking like. So if you oppose the independent site, then what we could do is, if you consent to it, is keep the domain, point it back to a different page, and do our best. Um, if you support it, then we'll do what we plan. And um, if you support neither, then we'll simply have the government EDC page, and that'll be the end of it. But um, I think that continuity is an important point that Lisa makes, and I think we can accomplish that because at least I know I can accomplish it because if I leave I'll pass along not just that minutes and many other notes that I would have and hope to have some kind of continuity to the next person that on the EDC that handles it whether it be the chair or otherwise um, as far as the passwords it makes total sense and the Facebook page you seem to be supportive of so it just becomes the question of you know whether the three of you are if Lisa's opposed to it or all three of you are opposed to it and what your input is. I am in total agreement with Lisa. I don't think that we need two websites. If you want to draw people to the town of Berlin, then you draw them to the town of Berlin where they can go and they can look at our departments and they can look at other things. I don't, I don't want a separate one because if you go rogue and do your own website, <coughs> June goes rogue, does hers, Mr. Kincannon goes rogue and says, oh, look, fire needs another in one. In fact, so. we just brought the fire department Correct. back in because Correct. they had gone rogue. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, the whole point was to draw everybody back right. into the main website so that it could be maintained yep. Um, yep. under one umbrella. So, no, I'm, I'm not in favor of additional websites. Okay. And do you are you okay with keeping the visitberlinma.com? Who's paying for that? We are. You have a budget? Well... Barely, but yes. Well, it's not a budget, it's an article. Yes, that was right. last year. Exactly. So, yeah. are, so no. So no, what? No, I would say no, we are not in favor of keeping that. Agreed. Is that, now, was this the, which one was this? The visitberlinma.com domain. I, I looked at your email. Is that in there today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't remember seeing that one, but I remember seeing. The one about commerce and um, yeah, it's, it's it's here towards the end. You purchased a domain name. Oh, okay. It yeah. There wasn't anything there though, because, right? Because like no. you said, right. it's not. Because it's yes, not hosted. It's I just not, didn't remember. It well, it's hosted. It's just not draft, drafted and more deployed. Yet. Yeah. And all right. So no website, no independent website. And what do you feel about the domain? No. No. The domain. The VisitBerlinMA.com. Because again, right. you're setting precedence. Again, you're yeah. Spending I think they do want to keep everything they, they, in one. You know, and I think it's probably well, we'll, good we'll, to keep we'll, everything. We'll drive it back to the government no. site. No, but it's no. still got to be maintained. It's still not the. It, it's not a Civic Plus 
template, it, it would still be something entirely different that had to be maintained. You're not. No, no, it would go back to Civic that, Plus. No. Well, it would be hosted okay. there, but it wouldn't be. No. No. At the end right. of the day, no. no, no other websites, no. Okay. No visit Berlin, no. So the Facebook page you're okay with? Yeah, that was fine. That's okay. fine as mm -hmm. long as you, like I said, make yeah. sure that Tom has the information. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, three or four budget things. Um, this was in my mailbox, our EDC mailbox. Did you see this? Did you get your own copy? Mm. Talking about I budgets. Have gotten it. it has an invoice. Did one of us? No, not? no. We get that every year. They just presume, presume and hope that the town will be a member of. So. It. Do you want to decide now or at some point in the future if you want to join? They, they haven't done We're it. I don't think we have, have done that in the past. Okay. So no. Okay. Um, I asked Mark, switching to film for a minute, um, I asked Marty Miller to assist me with some more pictures. He's going to approach you if he hasn't already to um, use the work off program mm -hmm. to get paid for some of that. So if you uh, would positively consider that, I'd appreciate that. Okay. I actually, Marty actually spoke to me, um, and he is willing to do this. It would be about 75 to 100 hours to do what Peter is asking, but it would allow us to have um, up-to-date pictures of most of the buildings in town. Um, so it's really... So it's know, beneficial for everybody. It Absolutely. would be helpful to have that for June's I think purposes, because so. she has to have an inventory of assets anyhow would be dual purpose perhaps is this just what kind of shots i think it's inside it's outside, interior oh, shots oh, exterior oh, shots and categories as you may have seen on the visit oh i see on he the uh, berlin mass a, film site an mm -hmm. i'm a sorry the work. mass film site oh i'm sure um so and I'll, I'll help him with access and contact and and so on um talking about budget or art worn or <coughs> temperature on giving us a $500 budget, annual budget, whether we jam it in this year or in the future. No. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, no, I mean, it's... You'd have to defend have it, that's for sure. Just, just to back up a minute, did we approve Marty or not? Oh. No. Oh. Yeah, sorry. I thought he was going to request it. <laughs> okay. No, I thought he was going to request it. Did he through you? He, he did. Okay. Um, okay. He just is not comfortable here at all. Oh, yeah. Um, at the so meeting? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just thought maybe so he was going to send an email or something, but um, okay. So if you make that yeah, motion now, I don't have, I don't have a problem with that. No, no. Okay. Do you if it's so multi, if it I will helps let him everybody. know and Peggy know and copy you in. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. See, I was right on my list. Form to fill out a request for it. Right. I could, I could fill it out and copy planning if it's an EDC request. For the extra saying? hours. So you're are we no, are, are you treat, uh, treating uh, this, this as a budget item or a warrant no, article? No, it's not. It's work off. It's work off. So yeah. is, is that? Has I have no idea. How to has do nothing that. to do with you no, spending. No. It would just no. be using a town photographer. He's, he has a position called town photographer. Okay. So, so since you're do through I have planning, to do something? No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I can. Since you're through, since you EDC is through planning and the selectman, then this person who's going to help you out has to go through both of us, I guess. Is that correct? I, so I can send it out. So okay. do you have to? Make a motion, grant him something, or no? Yeah, no, he'll just. Don't harm you. May as well. I move that Marty take the photos requested within the boundaries of seventy-five to hundred hours on the workout program for the boom. Whatever. Yeah. Second. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And last but not least, do you want to consider a uh, film budget at some point? I don't. I don't need any money now, but I think that's something that should be on your radar. Well, it's probably, I'm guessing, a little late to submit a budget for this year. If you were considering doing it next year, you'd have to comply with the timelines, of course, and then you'd have to defend it, perhaps to us and the finance committee and so on, and explain what you would be using it for. Okay. Because it wouldn't be like. You know, it's not a blank check. It has of to be course. for specific things that you know mm -hmm. you might be spending the money on. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. All Any right. questions for me? June, June, do you have a question? I do. Um, based on what you just discussed, there is a reimbursement request in that pile of warrants for this website. 
go does that mean yeah so we we re already spent the money on the website and the domain uh, the hosting so that's something that we brought to the plane board they approved and I submitted okay out of the special article and they did approve it yes okay I would ask that before you spend you seek permission because again we don't want people going rogue and just spending money and then coming up and saying may go by I already bought this it's okay right you're gonna cut me a check no I assume one of your members fronted the money yeah yeah and I and I attended a course a $35 course which is the other of the two reimbursements yeah just I think you just need to let us know in the I future approval ahead of time yeah okay so it's okay to pay that yes we signed it all right. All right. Any other questions? No. I thought the information was very good. Thank you, Peter. In the previous email and this one today. Glad you liked it. All right. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have to go back to the warrant. And. Sunset. Um, we, yep, we can. I didn't know if you wanted to have a discussion on the sunset uh, clause. Um. I think it's a good idea. I think we can just follow. Uh, Harvard looked like they had very good examples. I think we could do the same thing that they did. And then we wouldn't have to go through these foreign articles over and over. We could just have dates where they expire. Okay. Agreed. So would it be our responsibility, I assume, to put the what the sunset is in each article or in specific <laughs> articles? Um, I think that you would request input from whoever is putting the article forth so that um, if it was a long-term project, you don't kill it. Right. Yeah. You know. Or you don't extend it. It looked like one or two years was like the longest. Right. Right. Or you're not time. kicking you something out for 10 years just to sit on a pot of money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can do that tonight. Thank you. To go you through and put in dates. That's D deadlines from people as to when they actually expect to spend the money. So you have real dead, real sunset clauses. You want to do that? Request through email? I can and give them a deadline that they like oh, deadlines. I'm asking the board. Do you oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good with that. Either one or two years. <coughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. more. Not, not a decade. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I can do that tonight. Yeah. If you like, okay. That's fine. Thanks. Um, and uh, there was some mention in an email about having town council um, attend annual town meeting, and I assumed yes. that you <laughs> would agree to that. But with I with a certain to expertise, perhaps, or just um, not no concern. I, I would think marijuana. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking towards the end. Okay. Yeah. I will ask. And, and are we go going? And do you want two days? <coughs> That's what I was going to ask. Are we going one night or two? How many articles do we have? A few. Five. Yeah, but if you take out the sixteen, then how many are there? Forty something. Uh, Sixty-four. I take out the six. Sixty-four. Oh. If we post for two me two nights meetings, and Where we end divided? up getting it through. In one night, and that works too, correct? Or do well, we what have happens to post? Is you have a you have a deadline that you must act by, and then you vote if you want to go past a certain witching hour. Mm -hmm. Is it eleven o'clock here? No. Yeah. Eleven, and then you can just continue it to a date certain the next night, usually. Right. Or plan for that at the front end and divide it like they did last year. Because otherwise, you have to post two separate meetings with two separate agendas, am I right? No, no, we, we put out the warrant with a date at the beginning of the first chunk and at the second end of the same document was the date and time for starting. It was consecutive nights. <coughs> it was pre-announced and pre-determined in advance that it was two separate, one meeting, two dates, with these articles on this date and these articles on that date. Right, but if you do it the way we have done it in the past, a few years ago, and it went longer. Yep. You just continue you from do. where you la leave right. off you do. on the second night. You do. But Correct. then the public doesn't know that for a fact you're going to start the second night on a certain article. Right. They're going to assume that we're going to start at whatever number you post. Wherever you left it off at. Yeah. 
We still, even though we divided it last year, you had to recall the treasurer's article on night two to fix a mathematical, a minor mathematical error. So it doesn't right. really prohibit you from going back and revisiting what happened the first night. You could even totally revive an article from the prior night if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. That's the risk, of, you know, of any town meeting that goes more than one day. But I think you can even revive something later in the town meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because if we go two nights, then we only have the uh, town council show up for the second night. Thank you. Oh, both I think nights you, last year was I different. Think you still need to have we usually, them there. We usually have one um, because okay. you just for don't town know. meeting. What pops up? They had yeah. a regionalization person one night, and then they had marijuana the other night. Last year. Right. I think it was because there were those two big chunks discussions oh, yeah. Yeah. that we assumed were going to happen, and. Um, divided it appropriately because of that. And even if you want to uh, put it all one night, I don't know how you want to set up the marijuana discussion. You know what I mean? There's no summary submitted for it. There was a suggestion too by the, to change the article headings, which are not that big of a deal. I didn't think. That's fine, whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that. that's a big, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so either. I just wanted to make sure you talked about it. So change it as she suggests. Sure. Okay. They're her articles. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But like I say, no summary for that. And I don't know if you want to put that on at this point, but I don't know how you, you set this up to stop the confusion. Yeah, it's not, I mean, those are not our articles. Right. Correct. No. Those are citizens' petition articles. So right. I have a lot of trouble thinking we're going to get through this in one night, but I don't know if there's a natural split either. Yeah, I know. The split would come at 11 <coughs> o'clock. Yeah. The decision. Yeah. Yeah, and then the second night could be shorter. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. So we go in two nights or one? Well, you can either plan to go one night and go two if it goes over, or we can go ahead and just post the meeting as two nights. It's probably worth posting for two nights, just so people can plan. Okay. Which, where, or what items would you suggest we put on, say, the second night? 47. If you stopped at um, 34, the energy committees, and started with 35, the week chief, that oh. might be your. Oh, oh sure, thanks. Make me you know kick off the second but night. But I mean, just nice. it is kind of halfway ish. Yeah. It gets you through your spending. The, the energy thing isn't like a really controversial thing, it's just putting hands on the adder and creating an account. And then after that is probably going to be your biggest draw to have a fresh start on the night. Okay. So, so you're saying 35? After 34 and before 35. So 35 is when this night two would start. I think that's a good idea. All right. Do you want the same experts on night one? It doesn't really matter probably. I don't think anything before that is all that controversial. So marijuana? So just general. Yeah. First night. Are we going to pay for babysitting or is there going to be babysitting? Remember yeah, how last year there was? I think um, Julie Lee organized that last time and they did have. Just because sitters, there was a lot of towards um, the but school. But it normally goes through like Link or. Right something like that. I had requested that we maybe talk about having a budget for that, and I think it was denied last year. <coughs> yeah. Usually, I mean, specific articles might have... Well, that's why I'm saying I'm thinking... Yeah, I'm thinking that the second night will probably have more of a draw and a need for children to be watched than... But I can do is reach out. I can reach out to Julie and see if they're talking about organizing anything. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> on, on week chief, Peg s handed me her. Because okay. I, I had short. emailed one over too that it took well, like it, two it, minutes to write. So. To place a vote before the town to revoke the strong chief and uh, and or vote on week chief. That's the, like how's that? Yeah. yeah. Super short. Did you want Maybe to not necessary, but the only thing I did was I actually put the difference between the two. Okay. So if you want to, I can either show you quick or we can go with that one. But I thought it might be helpful to. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, the two main, yeah, it's, it's the two main differences, and I think that's what folks need to understand, and then some other items that I'll be speaking over with Chief Con Cannon and uh, the folks on his staff. Um, this article would change the fire chief. I heard that. Me. I heard that. Don't be scared. Okay. I heard that. Here's what I sent over. Um, this article would change the fire chief from strong to weak. A strong chief must be fired for cause and has the ability to hire and fire employees. A weak chief is an at-will employee and needs the approval of the board to hire or fire employees. But there's other things. It's not so much just moving it. There are other items that I wanted to share with the town, which was my justification, not just those two, but other reasons. And I'm afraid if people look at that, they're just going to look at those two items. Well, you're welcome to speak to it, but this is actually what it does, and that's what the summary is for. That, that's what it does. Um, I prefer just to go with generic and let let me speak to it. I might even make a little presentation in the back. And wear out to a folks. costume. I am not wearing a costume to the town <laughs> meeting. Look, I say, I'm saying that on camera. I am not wearing a costume to the town meeting. There you go. Maybe right. the meeting before, but no, just kidding. <laughs> Okay, is there anything else we need to? Did we find out um, like the trash compactor and that sort of stuff? They have not answered. I have not heard from CPC or the Board of Health. Hmm. So do we take no a resolution? And, and I just want to reiterate, I think we talked about this last meeting was that what is the effect of, uh, Lisa, your article on select board the B you know how will that affect I, I'm sure town council can answer uh, that council is coming back with that yeah um, did and, the van um, come out? the who? The yeah the van's van? out okay yeah. just but the, the hardware's in yes okay software Both. and then we it, were you the one who mentioned um, having the dollar amount that each item I you know what I would love, and I don't know if, if finance could do that, but I would love to see that because that's always my question. If you're saying raise an appropriate, you know, raise an appropriate 47,000, 400,000, 15,000, then it says this is what it means to you in taxes. I don't think we can do the math for that. I think the math is too complicated, frankly. Really? Yeah, I really do. But they did it with CPC, CPA. There's too many acronyms. The, um, CPA. Thank you. The CPA, where Buzz stood up and said, "If you do this, it's only going to be five dollars on $5 your, you know, or twenty dollars." Right. So I would well, love to the tax rate from that year, but it, it's the, it, it, that's a moving target. Because I, we do a split tax rate now, you can't just do it like that. It, there's more of a calculation. So there's no. We could do a guesstimate, maybe. But, well, that's what I'm wondering. Not, <coughs> you've got to make sure you stress it's a guesstimate because once you throw numbers out a lot I, of times, I, people, I would like not. You said, it was only going to cost us five bucks. I know, but months. here's my concern: is that when everyone sits in the meeting and goes, <coughs> I, 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 and then the tax bill comes in and everyone falls to the floor because their taxes have gone up, they didn't realize by going yes that my tax bill just jacked six hundred dollars. <coughs> That's all I'm saying is to, again, educate and inform the town. You could possibly do it based on a prior year tax rate, but you couldn't do it on that. That's the only. You're talking so to the accountant now. I know. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking right at it. I got eyes on her. No, no. So, like, ish. You know. So it would be hard because there's so many It would not be an exact science. There's too many variables here, and I, I would be yeah. uncomfortable giving doing that kind of math and putting it on... It would, would uh, make me very uncomfortable. Do other towns do this? I haven't do seen it. Do you know what towns? Yeah, here. I'm not sure if Harvard does. I think Harvard does. Do they have I a split rate, though? I think so. Because like Air said, does, Harvard split doesn't. split rate, it would be very easy to do. And if you didn't have a split rate? Correct. But we have a split rate here. Air has a split rate, Harvard doesn't. <coughs> I think it's a good idea, Peg. Does I, I don't do think, it, certainly and not what, for this does one. Does Harvard do it? Harvard doesn't have a split rate. I, bel I thought Harvard did make presentations based on how I'll numbers. ask them. I'll ask yeah. them how they do it. And yep. Yeah. And based it on certain assumptions. If your home is worth $300,000, you are going to pay this many dollars more. Right. Yeah, because that's what was done last year. I mean, I'd, I'll gladly email Buzz and the other finance folks and just ask them if it's possible. I just think that we owe it to the town um, 
that when people are voting <coughs> that they're they're truly looking at it and understanding it and understanding the impact instead of just going a room full of eyes and then the four no's yell the loudest you know <laughs> in the room so all right i'll email mr buzz all right well maybe check out find out what harvard or air okay. does first and then and then um okay. email all right, are we are we good then with the warrant? So did we, I'm just asking again, did, are we taking off the things that weren't approved by capital planning at this point since so we have not heard proper from people? And those items? The highway truck was moved out a year, wasn't it? I'm sorry? There's the transfer station, there's the highway service utility truck, there's the fire EMS pickup truck. I think, Jim, did you have? Something to say about that? That was, as far as I know, that was removed off this warrant. And were you comfortable with that? Because <coughs> we're going for the pumper tanker this year. Yeah. Okay. So that's more essential to us than the pickup truck. Okay. Okay, so that's an okay to remove. Remove. Okay. Okay. So it's just those other two: the highway truck and the, the compactor. Compactor. And the building, the I thought they had put the highway road. truck, moved it out a year. Am I wrong? The fire truck was moved out a year by capital planning. <laughs> the highway truck. Oh, uh, that was also moved out a year by capital planning. Okay, but so your, her question is, you know, do we board, leave them on yeah, anyway? Right. <coughs> right. Okay. And the roof, the public safety roof, is also in yellow. The roof. Public but safety building roof. Pitt is laughing. I know. Oh, yeah. well, I'm from the Midwest, and it's kind right. of change. It's I just chuckle. I just chuckle every time you say it. takes me a minute. And then, but no, I just chuckle. So thank you for that. It's okay, Lisa. I said I used to say roof, too, until people made me feel bad. <laughs> I'm not feel susceptible bad. to that kind of peer pressure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're taking out, what, 14, 17, 19? Well... Take them out if somebody wants to scream. I guess they scream at this point because uh, we, we've been over backwards. I think to get and did capital planning let these different well, cap groups know the that they're station. pushed out? It was capital planning was not aware of the Board of Health transfer station um, compactor, so they couldn't even inform them because they didn't have it. Sue said, "My bad. I guess they didn't get it somehow. We wouldn't get it because it doesn't come through as an right. appointing authority. So I I don't know how that happened." Do you know if that ever went through you? Because you get all the budgets before they go to FinCom. I, from what I can gather with Sue is that it wasn't given direct to capital planning. She just included it with her budget. Uh -huh. Is what I think happened. She didn't understand the new process of it had to capital planning form had to go to capital planning prior to the budget. Oh, does 24 come out too? That's the pickup. Yes, and 19, the roof, because they moved that to next year. Okay. So 14, 17, 19, 24. I don't want to say about 14. 14's coming up. I mean, I'm willing to listen if somebody wants to come and, and yeah. discuss or fight for them, but I am not sure if. Can we let them know? and? Yeah, you want them to come next week or send it in? Well, just ask if they're interested in. I did. Okay. You, you already know. did, right? I did, but I can. Oh, okay. Well, she came in and to me said, "Oh, I'm sorry. I just it must not have gone to the right direction." But that doesn't answer. Like, no. Can they live one year without it? I don't know. Okay, so we're. Want me to you want that for next week? Do you an answer for, for next yeah, week? Yeah. Why don't you a deadline of like Thursday <coughs> Friday answer, please? Right. Okay. Are we still on top of the deadline to send this to town council? Oh, it's I been to town been council. Sent. They have only um, confirmed receipt, but no feedback yet. Okay. Well, we're way ahead of the, ball, the game as far as getting it published, and I'm assuming. Do we get summaries from Chief Kincannon on 25, 26, 27? Those are the unpaid prior year bills. We're still uh, researching what those are for. Well, we okay. put them in. June gave me numbers, and I put them in the vendor's names. I have Oh, are you researching whether they're really unpaid? Researching what they are to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we good otherwise? I think so. 
OM. Well, the next um, thing on the agenda is the Capital Planning Committee. Um, I had about an hour-long conversation with Dave Westerling um, to discuss the uh, concern about leaving something on the plan that the selectmen voted no to this year. Um, uh, I reiterated that the mission statement and the bylaw say that they are advisory and recommend to the selectmen and the FinCom. Um, he said that we, they don't have another meeting planned. Um, they'd have to post a meeting if they were going to go back and discuss it or to even change the plan. Um, so I'm thinking the only, the only thing that we could do is put together a letter to the Capital Planning Committee um, and or the appointing authorities and just let them know that we are, we would like it changed um, or we could um, revise the plan. Um, with the annual town report committee. I don't know how comfortable they are with that. You can't, they can't change a report that they get from another. They are not allowed to do that. <coughs> no, okay. That. Um, or we could request to committee. put a comment in the annual town report, or we could just let Peg get up and talk about <laughs> <laughs> a town meeting. <laughs> So I'm just then throwing out a costume. And I've no. already made my opinion on this, Claire. It just doesn't matter. And well, I, you I know, I take. I, I think it does matter only because once you put something in a plan, it's there for people to realize that it's coming down the road, and they don't know that yet. They don't know that it's coming down the road because we've denied it completely this year. Correct. Uh, it, and next year could be a different story. I mean, it could come up again, and we could whole we could plan say will change again next year. I think that's well, no, what happened this year. It'll move the car forward to that year, and then what? We just keep denying putting it on the warrant. I think as an advisory committee that they really should be. Uh, they make their their recommendations, and then um, we take them um, under advisement. I mean, I'm a little disappointed in them that we asked them to remove it. They said they'd talk about it. There was total disregard for the board. They left it in there. So I'm okay with either the letter going or a footnote, or I'd be happy to stand up and just let folks know that this is not a done deal. There was an agreement with the building inspector. We talked about it. He said okay, pulled it, pulled the mileage, and voila. It shows up on a report, so um, I'm fine with one, two, or three, whichever is easier. One being the letter, two being the footnote, three, I can stand up at the town meeting. So. Okay. Pick one. <laughs> or? I can draft letters for you if you'd like, and the footnote if you'd like to review at next week's meeting. Okay. You're on your own on number three. No, oh, I'll stand up on number three. I'm okay with that. Again, educate the folks that are voting for all this stuff in town. So, um, yeah. Okay. I think we covered covered it. Unless there's something else with capital planning. Um, was there? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, except for <coughs> June was going to revise the form to include a signature line for the appointing authorities to sign off on capital requests. Yeah, I figured I'd meet with finance committee, capital planning, and eventually the board to see if there was any revisions like we kind of do it for budget time. I think there was some people weren't clear either that which form they should use. Am I right? Mm -hmm. um, some used the ones from previous I, years. Unfortunately. And I tried to get the new, the form that I was given, I needed to switch it over so it was fill out of the, that's not a word, right? Fill out of the, we just made it up. Mm -hmm. So, and I had switched it over and when I sent it to be uploaded, <coughs> it wasn't uploaded. And, 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 so 
so the old form was there. A lot of people use the old form, not the new form, so it was my fault. Oh. I take full blame. Well, my hope is that when we get a TA in, they will have gone through a budget process somewhere else and can maybe bring some things in from that and we'll community and, and we can tweak it and smooth and it. Try to make it smoother next year. That's my hope. We'll see. So, yeah, so I'll, I'll make a request <coughs> revision to the capital plan and see if they're okay with it. Okay. And do it earlier. And do it earlier. Right. Well, we, we did talk about that when I talked to Dave, too. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Uh, annual town report update. Hey, you want? Would you like to give us an sure. update? Yeah. Okay. Um, Hi. How's it going? It's going great. Actually, we've had um, three meetings and we're ahead of schedule. I guess from last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we have um, six or seven. We're still missing six or seven in that area. We're still missing. That's really missing. good. We were missing six and seven about a week before printing yeah. last year. Yeah. We were talking <laughs> about that. So, um, um, I guess. Barry wants to be able to put um, part of it online before. I, I, this I'm not that clear well, on. Lori, the article, once Lori does it, it can all go online. Right, okay. So I think that we're on, on really good schedule to get it online pretty yeah. far ahead of time. That has nothing to do with the printer. Lori just hands over right. a PDF and yeah. it gets posted. Yeah, so no, I think we're doing really well. Yeah, there's a couple, but we've gotten most of the big ones, I think. Um, the biggest one that's missing is Berlin Memorial School um, no. but, but um, and then a couple from Barry mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah it's going really well yeah hey a month ago you were at 23 right. does does the board want to request a draft review I trust Trisha no pressure <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean do you want to see the um, you want to see a draft? Well, just when you have, when Lori finishes, before you send it to the printer, just send it over to the three oh, yeah, of us so they sure. can look at it. So our next meeting is not this Friday, but the following Friday. And then um, I, I could get a draft done. When, then you know, yeah, if, if you can. you want it completed. You want a um, completed draft. Or you want to see it'd it. It'd be nice when if you just, once when it's done. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to send repeated. Like, yeah. Okay. Just once when it's done. Okay. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that much. <clears throat> I mean, you're there and you're helping and you're pushing, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, FY20 budget requests. Um, we have revisions for 32B health insurance. Um, motion, to, motion to approve. Okay. Uh, okay. Just remind yeah. me now. What was the revision? Oh, it was. Um, you got the numbers. You know? uh, yeah, you got the more specific numbers. Seconded. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Communications budget, which now includes the dispatch. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, anything else to be said? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. this uh, wait a minute. accountant yes um, I would like to know whether the board is in favor of um, I believe this was submitted as 40 hours am I right June? yeah and it didn't make it through personnel no uh, it was done at 35 N no I mean when you submitted it originally though was it at 40 no 35. I went before okay all right. Based on 35. Okay. Um, so 
I think that would be at their rate, but for 40. Right. So she's finally up to average salary, but not getting paid for a 40 hour week. Right. And puts in far more hours than 40 hours a week. So it uh, sounds like, do I hear a motion? I hear a motion to move the town account to full time salary, 40 Second. hours a week. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 But I'm not sure this is going to get through finance. I yeah. know, but we'll go in the lobby. Maybe if we go in mass, it'll help. But we can't go in mass because then you'd have to post a meeting. So we'll just we can post a meeting to show up. Well, yes. <coughs> if we're putting this in for for them to see on Wednesday night, am I correct? Well, yeah. Because we have another not, meeting. You're not on their agenda Wednesday night. No. They don't know it's coming. Right. So they either take it up Wednesday night and you show up as an otherwise posted public meeting, or it can go on next week's whatever well, they Well, what I'm thinking is that Wednesday is the 6th, and I believe we have a 40B presentation you that night, too. You want, want to ask them to be on next Wednesday's agenda? What, the 13th? Or next Wednesday? Uh, it would be the 13th. 13th right, yeah. Uh, let me see. If they, they don't post their meetings in advance, so it's hard oh. to tell. But I what do think that they are... March. Sorry, it's looking at April. I think, I think they're th meeting every week. Yes, yeah, they they're meeting be. every week. I, I think, think that's what it says on the room reservation. My town government. Okay. Yes, yeah. actually. So, is that I, I'd be fine with if you want to wait till the a week from Wednesday. Yep. <coughs> okay. Let them know. Sure. I can post that. All right. I said all in favor, right? Yes, you did. We <laughs> voted. Yes. <laughs> all right. And um, it's kind of come to our attention that the assistant accountant um, may need some overtime to help out with. Uh, you want to? I, I would love to call her assistant accountant because that's what she really, really is. She's well, so it's on my paper she's here. She's accounting clerk. Is accounting clerk. Okay. Which isn't fair, but that's what it is. <laughs> um, depending on um, what the situation is, uh, to uh, hopefully assist and make it a smoother transition in the fire department if needed. Um, currently, I don't have extra money in my line item to help. And I mean, I'm salary, so it doesn't matter. But if I need any extra help from Amy, I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of the fact that I could actually do it. So that's why I came to you prior to versus. <coughs> Afterwards, that, that's a good uh, thing. Jim, are you, do you feel at this point, knowing what you know, that we need to audit the fire department budget? I, I know you were going to do well, some I'm, checking. I'm, being, I'm looking at a shortage for right now coming up. We, I, I think we may know that we're pretty close to being okay. path. So I'm just working on trying to forecast what I need for the look last third working with uh, Jamie see if we can forecast what we need um, it's sort of unpredictable as far as the brush fire season what that throws at us we have a couple of big events and then everyone's out to play and we need all hands on deck for that and that runs that runs some receipts so we're trying to figure out what to, how to handle it I know that there should be some savings with the salary offsets prior chief of mine so we're just trying to fig get a grip get a grip on it see what we can do uh, are you concerned that there might be issues with the books in some way that that amy and june would need to go through and spend time doing a line-by-line -line audit of the fire department budget um i'm going to look at them tomorrow we're going to have a meeting and we're going to go through it Jane and, myself okay. and, and see where we are and we'll go up to, we'll talk with June, I think. Okay. So can we maybe table yeah. this and revisit it next week after you guys have yeah. had an actual chance to talk about it? Oh, we are, we are. We're actually we're looking at a shortage coming up like very soon. Well, how yeah. about if we, they take a look tomorrow or whenever, yeah. and um, if you feel like you need, you need to do some overtime of some kind, then let us know. Okay, yeah. thank you. And we can discuss it next week if we need to. Okay. Okay. 
Alrighty. Departmental updates. Uh, hired EMS chief. Do you, would you, do you have anything you'd like to update us on, Jim? Excuse me. He started today. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be, that'd be awesome. Awesome. No, 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 no. He's started. He's been. He's all set now. Okay. He's old hat. Thursday. Sorry, I was probably a week ago. I was drifting off when you asked. That <laughs> <laughs> well, it's on that my was. agenda. <laughs> yeah, I was on standby. <laughs> <laughs> my hard drive went to standby. <laughs> So it's just on my agenda here. Departmental updates, fire and EMS. Is there anything you'd like to update us on, or are we good? We're you still good. figuring out. Yeah, yeah, we're good. I'm just still working through the office right now. So I well, think the, uh, you, the money is the main concern right yeah. now. I was going to say, do you maybe want to give you an update about the hotel while we're yeah, here? I'm a, yeah, I'm going to defer to my marshal on that. Um, I did tell you were aware of the broken tender, which is vehicle that is one of the vehicles that's up for replacement oh I think so meeting. yes so mm -hmm. we're gonna see if we can um, I'm digging through paperwork to see if I can find any information and see if we can get it at least a cheap estimate on the scope of repairs mm -hmm. it's I don't know it spend any money it's very old um, but we'll at least we'll at least um, investigate what what we think it needs just very scary. Okay. Dave, do you have a, a, a bit of a report on how it's going? Uh, I spent last Friday, Saturday, and Sunday inspecting the hotel, uh, final inspections, and came up with a lengthy list of deficiencies both on the life safety as aspect as well as in other areas of <coughs> other contractors, uh, electrical, elevator issues and so forth. Um, they have been pushing to get a temporary CO. So I don't know where that lies. I sent the building department a report it's their decision on what um, what they do for a temporary CO, mm -hmm. how long a period, as well as there needs to be discussions on some of the deficiencies that need to be corrected before they even open. Um, the contractor is under the impression that if we if if the town gives them a 30-day temporary CO, they're going to have 30 days to fix these problems. Well, when it comes to life safety, that's not the case. Mm. They can't they can't open their doors if uh, these items aren't correct. So the only other question I have is when is the new building inspector on board? Because he needs to be brought up to speed as well as um, somebody has to issue a temporary permit if that's decided upon. I do mm -hmm. think it would make sense to have Tony Z stick with this project since he started the inspections and knows where everything is. I well. gave, Tony was with me for five or six hours on Friday. Um, I gave him a report Saturday afternoon after some of our testing, as well as I called him this morning and gave him the rundown of, of the list. He wasn't privilege to the li list because I just I sent it to the building department um, so his take after my conversation was he was not in favor of giving them a temporary CO so in that conversation we were both under the impression that Mr. H U was still in the loop um, I spoke with Mitch, Mr. Atrew this morning and he said he was out of the loop. Uh, he couldn't look at any emails, he couldn't. I asked if he got my report and he said he, you know, he couldn't, couldn't participate. So after that, I found out that they would do, you guys were going to appoint a new inspector tonight and I was so, okay, well, let's find out where we go from here. So, um, 
So it's my understanding that um, Mr. Hanks will be available tomorrow morning. I believe he was going to come in and just see where everything is. And um, it, it, as long as everything went well tonight. So um, um, I believe that is the case. Um, I would have to email or let him know that the vote was positive, but that's the case. Um, and then we do have the other backup too for uh, David Horn and um, the, um, Tom, Tom Doerr that we just voted. Um, and this is basically just to cover our building inspector. We're, this isn't a, a local building inspector. This was the recommendation of personnel. So um, can I request that Tony Z be called first on this since he did the initial inspections well, and knows what the problems are? I, I um, actually uh, heard that uh, Joe had told Tony that he's not, not to do the inspections. Um, so I don't believe it's e it's either it's either um, Tony's opinion that he's not doing it or Joe doesn't want him to do it. I'm not How sure. But um, uh, I think we've already appointed three people that we can um, that was contact. Leanne's report today. What's that? That was Leanne's report today. Right. So. So we have Fire Marshal that will work with uh, Richard Hanks tomorrow. Yep. Didn't they want I a decision by the fifth? Or by yes, like in they that have, time? They did. They have a ten-day window. Yeah. That the contractor has to turn it over to Hilton, and then Hilton comes in with their people right. and kind of takes over and does their training or finishes up their training uh, with their people as well. So do you, did you tell them what they found? Are they? They got the report. Everybody got the report on Sunday at 1.30 when I finished it. Okay. Um, I still have to speak with, I, I saw some uh, rebuttal emails from the contractor today, but I was also trying to understand, you know, where yeah. we were going with the, with the building inspectors. So uh, we can at least either give them where they're headed, are they going to, because they're under the impression that we were working to get them something, a temporary CO by tomorrow. Because I believe they posted an opening date of like the 19th of March. I think they yeah. said something about. Uh, I thought it was the 15th. Yeah. If you look at that Facebook Big page, shots were coming in April. on the 5th, but I don't know if there was another date, the 19th perhaps. Yeah. Um, but if the building is not safe for occupancy, right. then they right. cannot open. Absolutely. So you said per Tony the building wasn't the building you couldn't give from the report I gave him that he that I listed he was not in agreement to give, him give a them a temporary one. CO at that at the, that okay. point. Okay. Um, so do we have so is Dave meeting with Richard or I, is Dave I, meeting with I Tony can let him know or Dave you, and you're around in the morning. Richard. He's responding what time he's going to be here tomorrow. Okay. Because I told him I'd either call or email him and let him know the vote was positive and um, we can we can be in touch and let you know. You're in, I'll be in, in the office. You'll tomorrow. be in the office in the morning. Yep. Correct? Okay. Yeah, the Worcester Business Journal is published <coughs> April eighteenth. Oh. Is an opening day? Oh. That, that was that's on the Facebook page that I talked hmm. about. <laughs> and the manager is coming by later this week to pick up the alcohol license. They never picked it up because they were trying to get through the construction piece first. So, right. Okay. All right. Um, and the local building inspector at the moment, the hiring of one is on hold for personnel. But we do have, fortunately, three people that we can contact as needed to help in Joe's absence. Could I ask a simple question? Um, is there one person of the three that are considered the boss? Richard Hanks would be the first um, okay. building inspector. David Horn was the second. 
and the other one was a um, was door. Yeah, would be the third. Conditional. Right. Um, executive recruitment updates. Interim fire chief, EMS chief contract. Um, and you, you're all sworn in, Jim? Yes. Absolutely. I saw the pictures. <laughs> Are they going up it's on Facebook? Facebook celebrity. You're on my pass. I don't have your pass. <laughs> <laughs> you look very fire like. It's going viral. With all your gear on. Oh. I'm like, is that Jim? I'm looking. I'm like, is that Jim? <laughs> that was a winter coat. I was going to yeah, say, that was a big, no, no, puffy no, she, green coat. No, it wasn't over a. Both and, oh, yeah. Because yeah, 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 there was the one with the oh, green yeah. coat, and then there was yeah. one with fire fire stuff. Yeah. Yep. That was a good one. All right. Well, I think everything went well. Mm -hmm. um, interim fire, EMS chief contract swearing, fire. So that's all done. EMS chief, we're good. Fire, I haven't heard of when they're posting the fire chief advertisement. No, I haven't either, but I, I assume it's going to be very shortly. Yeah, but it looks like town administrator might even be this week. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, and then we need to talk about the posting the timeline for treasure collector. Um, Where are they posting the TA? Where are they? MRI it's has their own not, website. They have their own. So website. every all traffic is going to be pointed to them. But when they finally get it posted, then it'll go to the MMA website, our website, uh, Telegram and Gazette. I think they're going to go to. It's going to be several places. Okay. Are they going on Facebook too? No. Where? No. We Glow? decided no. Not, no. 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 no Glow. They decided the other one is better. Yeah, because the other ones. Do we need to approve the advertising? Yeah. What like venues? Well, I mean, there were costs associated with this. Do we need to pr approve those before they spend the money? Because we actually pay for that. They don't pay for that. Right. right. Um, I think I saw it in an email. The each of the places and the cost. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you get I that too, too, Mary? Or. That's yeah, I mean, I got it. just dreaming? <coughs> no, no, you saw it. Yeah. Um, we can. I just said that I thought that it was correct, but you're right. We, you we need paying. to approve it because we're paying for it. Right. Let me just see if I can pull it up. So. Do you want to just put that on next week's agenda? Oh, I think they need to advertise it. Yeah. This week. Yeah. Do we want to put a cap on it, or, or do we know about how much it is? Well, they yeah. estimated 1500 Do we want to? I think it was 1500 That was what they stated in their proposal. That, that looks like that's about right, too, especially if they're avoiding the globe. Is this coming from our um, See, that's why I thought the article? The because we did have a cost savings there. Can I motion to approve a maximum oh, of $1,500? So I said, uh, just in terms of history, you typically advertise the Worcester Telegram and Gazette, MMA, Facebook, and website. He said, we find it worthwhile to advertise in at least one newspaper which I think you're saying Telegram and Gazette. Mm -hmm. Our professional publication seems to reach the same pool as the Globe, so yes. we're leaning towards the Worcester paper to generate. If you want me to set that back and confirm that? No that Globe. That it should not throw in the Globe. No, he, I don't think he is going to. I, I okay. Please. Yeah. yeah, I'll just confirm it with him, right? You can confirm it if you'd like. I think we so you'd you already want talked about it with MMA, me their own website, MMA, Worcester Telegram Gazette, our website. Right. And everything points to the MRI website with their email address to take everything in. Mm hmm Okay. What about professional association portal and publications? Is uh, there a cost for that? Ah. I'm just, I'm Who's reading off the email. That was for town administrator, so I was saying like the FCAM, uh, Fire Chiefs Association of Massachusetts, for fire chief. But um, I can let the fire people know that you want the fire one probably should go in FCAM. I think they've already decided where, uh, uh, but... Um, they didn't ask you. The fire people didn't ask you where you want it advertised. 
No, I, no, I think it's, it, 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 I thought it came in an email. I thought. It um, is, I'm looking it, at it. It came from Steve Rollins. Right. With Bob Mercier copied, which is the town administrative team for MRI. Right. right. Not Duggan and the other guy's name, who I forget, I escaped. Uh, Brian Duggan and Bob Craig. That's it. <coughs> On the fire chief. So side. we have nothing from the fire chief. So how about we just have to approve <coughs> the recommended advertising for town administrator? For town administrator. Yeah. Cost associated cost. Just confirm you're not getting a, a, a bill for the globe because it'd be large. No, I don't <coughs> believe no, we are. No yeah, I understand. I'm just. I can. I can look and see if I'm the only one who got an email perhaps too because I thought it had the costs in it it did and I can't find it but I remember seeing it oh you saw it that's too. why okay. that's why the globe came to mind right so okay. then going back to Lisa so are Dewey you uh, what are you asking them Mary uh, Worcester Telegram Gazette MMA no 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 I mean what are you asking them about she it just confirm that they're not asking, putting it in the globe confirming just confirming that they're not putting it in the globe okay confirming the cost probably for either either search but anyhow the, I'm just talking to the TA team though because they want to try to do it this week. Right. If and they, they, had, they had certain amounts for each of the items in the email. Right, you guys are And I just didn't add up whether it was under $1,500. If you had to, you could eat it out of the selectman expenses. If it, right. You know, I'm just. But okay. We, we have approved it. So right, the 1500 <laughs> Okay. Uh, All right. So, we back to treasure collector. Yeah. Do we want to post now or later? He goes till July 1st, right? You yes. Had originally, I, the only reason why I brought this back up now is because when you, we held it before, I almost mm -hmm. pulled the trigger on it, then I pulled it all back from everybody. You said the March, April time frame for this right. to resurface. Probably mid-April. Do you want to discuss it then? Yeah. Well, it, let me ask this. Um, one of the things that I think after the last TA forum, um, Steve Rollins asked me whether um, I thought I thought the board might like to wait and let the TA hire the okay. treasurer, which would mean we would have to give an, an extension. additional extension. Um, and so, or do we want to just go ahead with the search? I and move that we give an additional extension and have the TA help with this you search. You can do it in April or May. Right. I mean, we don't have to give the extension now, but. Y that's what I wanted was to hear your opinion. Yeah, I'm okay with with extending it. Okay, if so we have to. So push this out until like maybe June, early June, because you're you're not even gonna get through town meeting first. Make sure it's funded and yada yada. Correct. Okay. So that'll go back to the June. Okay. All right. Um. Thank you. Good night. Good night. I will be in touch. Don't be scared. <laughs> I do. You find him. <laughs> I ain't find him. <laughs> All right. Um, bye bye. You may. Thank you, David. You may even want to let the uh, people who volunteered to be on that screening committee okay. let them know that, you know, we're going to push that out for a, a bit. Um, the eighteen seventy town hall manager discussion. Um, I wanted to know from the board <coughs> if they were interested in having the town hall advisory committee be the screening committee for this position. Um, I think Mary, you had dressed, drafted a an ad. Oh yeah, it's just yeah. <coughs> they are the ones who work most closely with this individual, so I would say yes. Okay. Agreed. Um, Evie asked me to meet with her or to come to. They're meeting, I believe it's tomorrow at one o'clock, um, and I can let her know. Um, she she thought it was uh, okay with her. I don't know if she talked with the other members of the advisory committee. Um, uh, I think, and then they were, they had talked about, we did put together the job description, which mm -hmm. we recently approved. Um, there would be, an ad, and I think um, the advisory committee may have been thinking that even though we went from 10 to 15 hours, we may even want to, uh, they may, I don't know if they were recommending more than 15, like maybe 20 or not, but I can find that out on um, tomorrow afternoon and let you all know. And, 
personnel approved this one, right? Okay. The job description. Yeah. But they don't have a budget because they're a revolving account, so there is no right. Room, like, and so that would be if you're changing the, the stipulation. Well, of personnel would need to approve perhaps that I think because part of the advertising right. is the number of hours per week, yep. which no one else is reviewing. That you know what I mean? Like you don't have a budget. Right. I thought you wanted a budget. Did you vote to try and push that up for as well? Or am I like making this stuff up in my head? Yes. Kind of like cable. Yeah, it says June says to more marketing, so possibly. Yes. Position wise. Okay. Looking for someone that can possibly do some more marketing on it. Right. Okay. And um, I might, I might. I was wondering, do you think maybe another person added to the town hall advisory committee? perhaps for the screening that has some marketing background? Do you think that would be helpful? Or do you think I that think Evie is pretty darn good at marketing? Yeah, that's what okay. I was going to say. Yeah, I, I, I didn't there. know. You know, yeah. uh, you're true. probably right. But okay. the idea that they don't have a budget, kind of like cable didn't have a budget, they operate outside the right. regular omnibus budget. Even right. Same with 1870 Town Hall. Can they afford? Well, that's the question, the and hours? I think they should be able to answer that, hopefully. Or that would be up to them. Okay. Well, I was, that was one of the things I was going to impress if upon them if they want to. Business, they would require more hours, which would then pay for more. The more business would pay for the more hours. So. Because they haven't taken back all their expenses yet, so I mm -hmm. just. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um. The execution of patrol officer contract. Um, did you all have a chance to look? Of course, you already know. Did you have a chance to look, Peg? At, I did. At the uh, changes and um, whether you want to vote it tonight or do you have questions for um, Tom Galvin? Did we said that they settled the question where there was a discussion if it was two years versus three years? It's three. three. It is yeah. three. Okay. All right. Then I'm good. As long okay. as people are in the know. Motion to approve. Seconded. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Where? Uh, do you want to sign that? It's actually in there. Oh, it's in there. Go ahead. Greens? Greens and blues? Yeah, I ran out of blue. Okay. Green is as close as I could get. All right. Should I take these off? Would that be helpful? Yeah, or and just divvy. Richard Hanks says we'll be in at 8 a.m. Cool. Three, four? Yes.
Thanks. All right, uh, on to new business. I had uh, my list of 10, it whittled down pretty quick. Um, the un Well, we were picking things off along the way. The unsung heroines. Are we going to do anything with that? Are we going to put it out on I, the... Uh, I don't Berlin? think that that's what they were advertising it as. I know, but I mean, they were looking for us. Yeah, but I don't... I don't. Th I think that's somebody who's taken women's issues to another level, and I. I don't think that we have anything. No. Okay. Well, I unless you know somebody personally that you'd wanted to recommend, right? Yeah. Okay. Just just looking at the description on the the organization's thing that didn't okay. seem to coincide with. All right. Well, I didn't see any feedback, so I figured I'd leave it. Um, I know the Berlin website. Um, about the emails and um, that's actually how it works what you were asking it's just there was no category so, so general emails don't. do come to us okay but other emails it's just you there probably help. needs to be a category about taxes and yeah. questions or something like that and you can put additional ones in there but I'm sure because there wasn't something like that if you go look, went it went okay. to general all right and so we'll general keep an eye ones, on it. it is appropriate for them to come to the board okay and then the last one I had was Holly me too. Okay. All right. I'm done after Holly. So, um, how do we want to proceed with that? Do we want to have one of us meet um, with Holly? Do we want to have three of us meet with Holly? Is it easier if one of us meet and take notes and share, distribute, and 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 what what um, she'd like answers to issue of, of her issues? Okay. Volunteers can do that okay with that okay yep all right because so obviously I want to help her out in any way that we can yes I do and too. help help out the council on aging they're an important part so we just need to make sure that we give them the support yeah because I'd like to uh, I mean because she sent a boatload of all policies but I don't know where they ever went I mean I gave her feedback but mm -hmm. and then they just went away so I think it might help to even do the look at the job description again and um, I mean we put that together I think we supported it I also um, I did reach out today to um, Boylston if you have any questions that you'd like me to ask their council on aging director just I wanted to um, just check and see how they did some of the bookkeeping stuff and that if there was an alternative way we could get some of like Holly's payroll and different things taken care of so yeah I mean because she's got some great ideas out there just want to make sure that she's heard and taken care of I don't want to lose her um, so all right okay so you'll keep us updated whenever mm -hmm. you have a chance to meet you can yep. we'll put it on an agenda and talk about it yeah okay um, <coughs> did we get yours covered well, you did there were only a few. Hey, hey. Lisa, you have Mine were all brought up through the meeting. Various. Um, I have one thing. Um, I spoke to Rick Holland from KP Law <coughs> about um, the agreement, uh, the solar agreement. <coughs> um, I told him that we wanted him to help us out to do the negotiations he told me of a few suggestions that he had and then said he would send me an email and I haven't received it yet so I'll touch base with him again just to make sure because I assumed that, that might be something that would be on the annual town meeting it, it, it is warrant as a placeholder it is as a placeholder yeah. but you know you have to have An something agreement more specific for, yeah yeah you should be further yeah. along by now um, so I'll touch base with no, them again. The the okay. All right. Um, I believe that's it. Um, the developer is reaching out to the town saying, 
connect with me. Right. So I can take that email and send it right to Rich Holland and say, connect with him? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um, that was probably last week sometime, maybe? It was. Okay. Yeah. All right. And he knows he knows my contact information if he I'll copy if he board. wants to if yep. he has any questions mm -hmm. or anything, but um Time's a waste of I think this this I don't think this board has the expertise to negotiate a solar pilot. So did you ever hear anything? You had sent an email the other day about the uh, couldn't find a form for the traffic study. Oh, I. Because uh, I poked around the website either. I, I found find it. I found the you? email okay. and I sent it off and then I forgot to copy the person on it, right? Oh, that guy. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Do you that. want me to find it and send it? No, to I I already have. Oh, you and, did. Okay. And. Um, <laughs> And so now he sent me the link to do the, the get to put together the traffic information. Okay. Um, oh, I it used to be a paper form, so they they want you to do it electronically. It's online. Oh, okay. It was supposed to be online That's on new. their website, and okay. then when I went there, it wasn't there. They do this anywhere. every year. Right. And so you I identify um, your your chosen. This is CMRPC. Yeah, yeah, same right? every year. Every year. So she he sent me uh, the link, so mm -hmm. I'll I'll. Take a look at it again. Okay. Yeah, because I had reached out to Representative Naughton again. Right. On that, heard nothing. CSX heard nothing. Um, see if he could do anything about SA Farm, because he had mentioned it, and I know the DEP is over it, all over it. But I'm thinking an extra arm, him, maybe Attorney General uh, Maura Healy. I don't know. And again, I know it's not in our town, but it's impacting our residents. Right. So and I, it's on my to-do list. I just have not had a chance to contact the town administrator in Northboro. Okay. Um, but it's still on my to-do list. All right. So I was hoping to reach out, perhaps in the next day or so. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. And no old business. Nope. No. Nay. Okay. Then we have no need for executive session, so I'll take a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye.